guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, Matt and I are gonna be strolling down 16th Street Mall, starting at Union Station and hitting up the Capitol Building, telling you about the highlights and the lowlights along the way. So if you're into that and you wanna learn more, what should they do, Matt? Stay tuned! That's what's up. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. I am Sean Murphy. I'm Matt Marinick. That's Matt Marinick. We are a real estate team here in Denver, Colorado. We make videos like this. This one's a little bit different because we're taking you on a stroll. So let's stop talking. Let's get to walking. So recently, Union Station got a bad rap. News stations did uh, pieces on you know, the drug use, the vandalism, the crime that was happening down around Union Station. I think it's gotten a lot better. You see additional security around here, the areas that they blocked off so people can't loiter. And then inside the terminal itself, they have uh, additional security. It is really nice inside though. Really love the terminal bar in there. Uh, when I first moved here, we used to go there all the time. This area Area, everyone said it wasn't a good area. Done a lot to make it a lot nicer. Yeah, I like. I don't mind it down here. But if you're going to an event, if you're yeah, meeting up game. with friends, yeah, Rocky's game is right there. They just put in McGregor Square. That's just east of this. Just west of this is going to be Ball Arena. That's where the Nuggets play. That's where the Avalanche play. Gordon. Got it. So if you want a spot where you're like, hey, we're gonna post up for the night, park a car in one of the lots, and we're gonna hit downtown, do all the things, go grab some food, and then go to a game, this is the spot that you wanna be in. This is where all the action, all the good restaurants are. Also on the weekends during the summer, they have a great farmer's market down here. If it's on Saturdays, um, all the, this right where we're standing, it's a bunch of tents. All right, so on 16th Street, transportation, it's like mainly foot patrol, Unless you're utilizing the free mall bus ride, they try to keep it like a pedestrian walkway. The Lime scooters, they slow down on there. They don't want you to scoot down there. They don't want you to bike down there. Kind of makes it nice kind of because you don't have to worry about getting hit by cars. You only have to worry about getting hit by a bus, which is actually probably better because you don't feel it. To do. yeah. What else is cool about 16th Street Mall is each corner they have these like TV looking things you can tap on there like look for a specific business it'll give you directions you can text the directions to yourself to your phone kind of neat yeah um, nice little directory yeah you want to give us what no you way, like me about 16th street mall you'll see the most amount of like characters here. yeah sure you yeah characters I mean? is a good way to put it like you'll come here and you'll you'll feel denver like you if, you, if you're gonna move to denver you'll come here and be like yeah. okay like it's i can and i can't do this right i don't know what's your vibe matt you feel safe on 16th Street? Yeah, I probably like nighttime after like dark, maybe 10 plus. I wouldn't as much. 10 plus? Like 10 p.m. Event. plus. 10 plus, you know, 10 or later. But uh, <laughs> like right now it's fine. And what's funny is there's a lot of like tech companies in the upper <laughs> floors of a lot of these tall buildings. So you'll see a lot of people like button ups, whatever. Like you go one or two streets over, it's homeless, homeless, homeless. You come around the corner and it's like, these guys just got off work. I feel all right. But you guys, what do you guys think? You feel safe down 16th Street? Let us know in the comments. It's a different vibe, but what do you guys think? Yeah, let us know. Quick beer, quick beer. Oh man, the, uh, the Jennings might be a little bit upset. Uh, the house that we closed on Friday. Yeah. Well, they invited me over for a just housewarming party. They said, make yourself at home. So I kicked them out because I hate having guests. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for me, this is really where like 16th Street Mall really starts. You get a lot more restaurants, a lot more shops, you get Ryder Square here. This is like where Matt and I will hang out when we go to comedy shows because Comedy Works is right there. You see, yeah. we'll, we'll tell you some people like Tom Segura, Bill Burr, Bill Burr Joe Rogan, Ari Shafir, Anthony Jeselnik. Yeah, the people you see on TV, you're going to see them at Comedy Works downtown Denver. Yeah, like Dave, probably Dave once Chappelle a year. popped up. One time, I got it. Actually, text. all the time. He he practices here a lot. I never had that happen. When I take two puffs of weed, I looked at the guy next to me. I was like, I'm gonna bomb, nigga. I can feel it. In my 20s, um, this writer's square is where I would hang out. There's uh, Red Room, which is a vodka bar right there. Uh, Roosevelt's and the front porch. The front porch is a cool place because if you walk by and you see your name on the chalkboard out front, you drink for 
free. You drink for free, and that's awesome. It's also very dangerous because some times you see your name on like on a Tuesday, and you're like, oh shit. Behind there we have Larimer Square. So anytime there's like a Nuggets game, they always show Larimer Square. It's all lit up. I don't see the actual street has anything like super great about it, but there's like Capital City Grill yeah, right there, fancy. Ocean Prime there. Ocean Prime. So we are at the Taco Connection with our boy Amish. Awesome tacos here on 16th Street. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a staple of 16th Street. Tell them about Taco Connection. Oh yeah, Taco Connection. <laughs> uh, we yeah. do fusion flavor options. Uh, we've got uh, eight different flavors that we do. Uh, started about five years ago here on 16th Street. What's your uh, thoughts on uh, 16th Street? Like, the good and the bad? Uh, unfortunately... Uh, You're in you the know, middle of it though, so you see everything. Yeah, since COVID, we, we still haven't returned back to normal as far as tourist numbers and just people cruising the mall. I mean, the biggest negative about it is all the homeless people and kind of riffraff right. that uh, shows up every summer and uh, lingers around. Winter time. Kind of loud over here, but we wanted to point out Daniel's Fisher Clock Tower right here was at one point the tallest building between the Mississippi River and California. There's also a cabaret or burlesque show in the basement at the Clock Tower, so check that out. Tickets aren't too bad. And then on the back side of the tower, ice skating. They put an ice rink out there, so it's not big, but if you just want to come down, do the things, go see a show. Life is beautiful. All those things are at the Buell Theater, Charles which Dickinson. is just down the road. I smell mint. Oh! Oh, maybe it's the, the mint we have right here. The Federal Reserve Building. It's the Kansas City Mint. Kansas, tell them that. Tell them what they need to know. So, this is the Kansas City Mint, and it's actually a... I don't know. <laughs> so, the Can it's called the Kansas City Mint because the main hub is in Kansas City. And this is like an auxiliary branch. The Kansas City is like a territory that covers like seven, I think it's seven states. And that's why people always ask, why, why the hell does it say Kansas City on it? Well, it's right downtown Denver. Well, now you know. That's what's up. Also in the middle of the street, you'll see like checkers tables made out of like concrete. So people will come up, play checkers or chess. You'll all see pianos, things like that. People just hanging out. Also see some wildlife. <laughs> Colorado wildlife. This is the spot where they typically will have the ice rink in the winter. Right now it's a dog park. That's Lucifer. Oh, that's not Lucifer. I lied. That's the big blue bear at the convention center. Fun Just fact. peeking in. Oh, Matt's got a fun fact. Fun fact about this guy. He was not meant to be painted blue. He actually was supposed to be Colorado Earth Tone colors. They made a mistake at the, I don't know if it's the paint factory or whoever did it. The artist liked it so much, painted the whole guy blue. Fun fact. The more you know. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> What is a sailor's least favorite vegetable? I don't know, Matt. What is it? Leeks. They hate leeks. What's the pirate's favorite letter? It's not R. It'd be the C. <laughs> <laughs> Down on Champa. What's your favorite thing about 16th Street? My favorite thing about 16th Street, Street Mall, man, and the energy. Okay. You know what I mean? You come down here, you, you catch the vibes, you see what people are doing. You get some music, you get a little crazy. You get a little music, you get a little, bit get a little crazy, a little bit of everything, man. It's, yep. kinda, it's the essence of Denver, bro. Yep, you that's know, what. This ain't Colfax, so. Right, I feel you. Thank you. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there, man? Hatch. Hatch who? Bless you. Okay. Got him. Okay. Uh, right here we got Maggiano's. It's a really good Italian spot if you want to go, like, get some Italian and go on a date or something like that. That's where I would take my girl. Did I tell you I broke up with my girlfriend, Matt? You did? Yeah, well, 
her freaking dog passed away and I tried to cheer her up by getting her an identical dog and she just screamed at me. She's like, what am I going to do with two dead dogs? <laughs> we are by the Paramount right off of 16th Street. And back in, the, yeah, back in the 30s when it opened, it was a movie theater just for Paramount like movies. They're obviously a movie production in Hollywood. They're the only place, one of two places in the whole country that has Woolitzer Organ still in it. The other one is Radio City Music Hall in New York City. A shout out to Chiba Hut is just down the street too. Yep. Chiba Hut is a Colorado based sub shop and all their subs are named after ganja. The they small is a pinner, the large is <laughs> a blunt. Yeah. It's also too, we were talking earlier about just like where it gets a little seedy. This 7-Eleven on this corner is rough at night. Yeah, so this area right here is a little bit more exciting, I guess is a way to put it too, because you're uh, right by the stout light rail station that cuts right through the city. So a lot of people just waiting for the train, waiting for the bus, doing, doing crazy shit like they do. It's here, right? It's part of the experience. For our Chicago people, we got it guys. We have a Giordano's, so you can go get your lasagna pizza. It's gonna make you need to take a nap afterwards. If you also hate Giordano's pizza, let us know. Give the video a like. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up for a thumbs down to Giordano's Pizza. And now we're hitting the pavilions. The pavilions has a whole bunch of shopping again. It's got a bowling alley. It's got a theater. So if you go to a movie theater, here's a little downtown hack uh, at the United Artists Theater up here. There is a underground parking lot right there that they will give you a voucher for your parking if you go show your movie ticket upstairs. So that's cool. Cool, so we are in the Denver Pavilions area here. It's kind of like a mall, like there's some like mall. Mall, mall stores over here. And then also over here they shut down the street for the, uh, the Denver Art Festival. Cool. Hey Matt, you know how they tell you to just say no to drugs? Yeah. Don't you think if you're talking to drugs you've already said yes? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> But you want to stop in the yard house, you have over a hundred beers on tap. So if you're feeling thirsty, need a quick break, you can get all of them here. Matt, should we? I think we should. We let's should do let's it. do it. I feel better. Yard house is cool. So now we're by like I guess it's called like the financial area, yeah. but we're all the, the skyscrapers really kind of clumped together. Yeah. A lot of them are like, yeah, financial district. So you're going to see the Wells Fargo building. You're going to see Key Bank. You're going to see different investment uh, companies, etc. A bunch of hotels around here as well. The Sheraton's around here. If you don't know, the big cash register building that was the Wells Fargo building, and it was meant to look like an old cash register. How fun. So you can see the 16th Street free mall ride right there. It runs the whole mile and a half of the 16th Street mall. So if you wanna jump on one end, you can hit any of the 250 stores. Uh, it you know, passes along the way. So it goes all the way from the light rail station, Union Station, all the way to the Capitol building. So like I said, the beginning of the 16th Street Mall. A little, a little, a little, I'll just put it like that. Same with where we're coming up to is the, uh, like the bus station. It's a little, it's a little as well. And like the lawn for the Capitol building, they had to shut it all down because there were so many uh, homeless people camping out there. And then you can see, all right, so we got the the courthouse, the Capitol building is, is right in front of me here. This is where all the magic happens in Denver. If you're looking for a good protest, if you're looking for a good riot, you come down <laughs> to the convention center. Also yesterday, they had the 420 festival. I think Big Boy was here. A bunch of musicians and everyone blazes up on uh, 420, which is, if you're not from here, you're like, that shit's crazy. <laughs> when they legalized marijuana, it looked like a Six Flags or a Cedar Point like ride like queue out front. Now we have more dispensaries than Starbucks. Yep. The gold flake on the Capitol building too, fun fact, that was added in the early 1900s to signify the gold rush in the 1800s in Colorado. And then actually, one of the stairs on the Capitol building is exactly 5280 feet in elevation or one mile high, because we're the mile high city. This is, all right, so these are the steps. You are officially a mile high on these steps. What we learned in our research, because we always like to get the facts for you guys. Get half of them. Facts, yeah, half the facts, 
have feelings. That's how we roll. But there are three markers on the stairs because originally they thought it was the one place and then as technology, I guess, got better and they could figure out exactly where a mile high was, they moved it and then they realized, actually, that's not right. So there's actually three markers here, but we think they got it right this time. And who are we? To really smart topographers. We are, yeah, we are. <laughs> we don't even know how they figure this out. So uh, the fact that they're they off by a couple They called us. Like, what do you guys think? And we're like. And I talked about like rides and shit. There's all kinds of all kinds of fun things going on here. Like Taste of Colorado happens here. Yeah, the food truck yeah. for that Taste of Colorado Ninja Warrior competition here. You got two great ways to go. You can go down Colfax, which will take you to Capitol Hill area. Whether you have a little bunch of good music venues down that way, Bluebird, Fillmore, Ogden, they're all down that way. And then if you go south here, this is South Broadway, one of my favorite parts of the city. You have all kinds of good just dive bars and just fun things to, to see and, and have at. We have a couple videos on those too. We have a Baker video, we have a Cap Hill video. And also right at the end here you have the Denver Public Library, which looks like a giant like check chess pieces, and then the Denver Art Museum, which is really cool. So all those are right here. So if you're a tourist and you're coming to visit, like you hit 16th Street Mall, you're gonna get a really good feel for the good and the bad of Colorado. So I do recommend people that live here, give us some other ideas, other places that you would stop at along the way, maybe something that I haven't thought of or we haven't been to yet, because we're always learning about new shit to do in Denver. If you guys learned anything in today's video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, so we know we're doing a good job. And look. if there's anywhere that we haven't been, you'd like to see, or something we didn't talk about in this video that you think we should have, put it in the comments so we know we can go back to it and report back to you guys. We've got our cute little tushies over there for you guys. All right, that's it. Love you. See you later.